Oh my gosh, yay! Like a lemongrass on steroids. This might be like my favorite holiday scents I have ever smelled. Hi everyone, if you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow Inc. And this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a sort of supplier unboxing uh, slash fragrance haul. So I restocked with one of my favorite suppliers, uh, Stone Candles. So in this box is uh, some fragrances that I already use in my candle line and then some fragrances that are new to me. So you will be smelling uh, a lot of these fragrances for the very first time with me, and that's so exciting. Those of you um, who have been around for a while on my channel know that I am obsessed with fragrances and proud, so these are my absolute favorite videos to film. So, and also for those of you who aren't familiar, uh, Stone Candles is a luxury marketed supplier, so these are pretty expensive fragrances um, that I'm gonna be trying out. Without further ado, we are going to get right into to it. Okay, I am so excited. So I am going to be opening this box and I hope everything that I ordered is in here. Um, I think more than half of these fragrances I have never um, tried before. So I ordered even some that I'm going to be uh, hopefully using in my Christmas, my holiday collection. So candle making, as most of you probably know, you always want to be a few seasons ahead so that way you have adequate time to test and everything. Um, Stone Candles does a really good job. I have found with packing. Um, oh my gosh, yay! So this right here is a restock of my very favorite fragrance from them. This is I think it's ombre it's pronounced or ombre um this is a bond nine type this fragrance is to die for um yeah i literally just bought eight pounds of it is what this should be um and oh my god sorry i just like shook the camera there but i am so obsessed with this fragrance um i'm gonna test it though because there's been a time or two where they've sent it to me and it wasn't the right one it was a little bit different, so I had to ship it back. Um, and then I also ordered, oh, I'm so freaking excited to try this, Spiritu Sancti. Um, does this mean, I think Sanctus means holy, so holy spirit or something. I don't know the Latin for this, but I am so excited to smell this. I have no clue what this is gonna be. Um, I'm so excited. Okay, and then this is a restock of my Paris uh, fragrance. And so that one I already know about. And then this is a new fragrance, but I did smell a little bit from their um, scent blotter strip. Um, you can get those for free on their website before you order a fragrance. So I'm hoping it smells pretty similar uh, to that one. And then this is another new fragrance for me. Um, I did smell this one as well on their scent blotter strip. And I really, really liked it. Um, I'm hoping that this is gonna be my Kathmandu candle. So we will see how this one is. It's definitely a really dark oil, isn't it? Okay, and then next in here, we have Nutmeg Vanilla. And this one, I am really hoping is like a luxurious smelling, um, like gourmand treat um, that I can bring out for my luxury collection in the fall and winter as a part of either my autumnal glow or my winter wonderland collection. Um, so always a few seasons ahead. And then this is a restock. This is one of my ingredients to my Cape Town uh, Wanderlust candle. And I think that's it in this box, but just so you can really see uh, how well that is packed. And this is typical um, of stone candles. They do a very good job with their packing. I think I'm gonna just take these all out of here and then um, I will um, come back and do, I always use these blotter strips um, when I do my fragrance uh, testing on these really strong luxury fragrances like from Stone Candles and from 1617, and sometimes from Candle Science, depending um, on the fragrance. So I'm gonna open these all up. 
Okay, so I think the first one I wanna do is this ombre. Now, this is already in my candle line, but I just wanna make sure that this is the right thing because I bought this once and they didn't send me the right scent. It was slightly different. So, fingers crossed that this eight pound bottle, I did not have, I do not have the same problem with. Um, I'm sure it'll be okay, but... Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, okay. Yeah, this is so, so, so good. This fragrance, I just absolutely adore. Um, so I use this for my Tibet candle. It just smells like incense. Like if you have a, anything like spiritual, um, this candle, this fragrance is so good. Like it's such a warm, rich amber, but it almost has more of like that incense quality to it. Um, it's not just a straight amber. Um, it does have some patchouli in it and I don't typically like patchouli. It works in this fragrance. And oh my God, I'm so glad that I have eight pounds. I actually have 10 pounds because I already had two and now I just ordered eight more. So I'm gonna be stocked on this for a very long time and it's super exciting to me. Okay, and then the next one I'm gonna try out is um, Dejarling, I think this is called. Um, and again, I did smell this on a blotter strip and I thought, honestly, this one was gonna be probably pretty light in a candle, but this fragrance I think would make an excellent blender if it smells like what I think. Yeah, okay. This reminds me almost of like a vetiver, but it's got so much more dimension than just a straight vetiver. Okay, if you need anything like as a blender for some like earthy, like luxurious earthy dimension, it's like exotic. This fragrance, um, I'm gonna tell you all, like I said, I have not made this into a candle yet, but I am so excited to, um, this is such a special, unique, exotic blender. And I would be apprehensive of using this by itself for the reason that I mentioned of just thinking that it probably is gonna be light um, in soy candles. Now, if you make like parasoy or paraffin, um, I'll bet you this performs very well, but that's just my initial kind of thoughts on it. And I will keep you all updated, but this one is so special. Okay, next up, um, I'm gonna be smelling this Lotus and this is an ingredient in my Cape Town candle. Um, I would use this by itself. The hot throw is amazing. Um, I do blend it with Calla Lily from Candle Science and it is, my Cape Town fragrance. Um, yeah, this fragrance. It's like a lemongrass on steroids. Um, oh my gosh, I don't even know. I think it's the neroli. It's like lemongrass with neroli. Um, and it has like some celery or some coriander um, in it. It's the strangest combination. It's like fresh vegetables in a way. Um, nothing like Candle Science's tomato leaf, which I love that fragrance by the way, but that's definitely like a straight tomato leaf. This is like a very complex vegetable combined with um, basil and lemongrass and just, oh my gosh. It's so, so, so underrated. I don't think they have one review on this fragrance on their website that I've seen that um, says anything about it, but Lotus by Stone Candles, um, it's a must, must check out. Okay, and next up, I'm gonna be smelling for the very first time um, this patchouli sandalwood. And this is a really dark, dark oil. Um, and I don't like patchouli. However, I did smell this on a blotter strip uh, or on one of their fragrance strips that you can order for free from them. Um, and I'll try to leave a link in the description box below so that you can go on their website and you can literally select all of their fragrance oils, most of them, and just order free scent strips, which is really cool, I think. Um, I don't know any other company that offers something like that for free. Um, but it doesn't give you any indication necessarily of how it's going to perform in a candle. So... I'm just kind of, I always buy the 16 ounce bottle so that way I can thoroughly test something in a candle, even if I don't like it. Um, 
sometimes I kind of lose money because I usually don't buy small bottles, but oh my gosh, I can smell this. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my God. This is so, so special. And I just dripped like a drop of this on my chair, which is not good. Um, oh my gosh, this is so special. This is almost like, it. this is almost like a holiday type of a scent. This is festive. I am getting so excited. I'm like inhaling the fragrance. But this is really like, you get vanilla, I'm getting nutmeg, I'm getting patchouli, I'm getting sandalwood. Oh my God. It's got like smoky incense and amber and I don't even know. Maybe jasmine? Um, I don't even know. Okay, this fragrance is so, 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 so special. This is definitely gonna be my Kathmandu if this performs really well um, in my wax blend. Oh my gosh. Wow, patchouli sandalwood. This is even better than it was on the fragrance strip. Um, and it was impressive on the fragrance strip, but this is like knocking me over the head out of the bottle, which is a good sign because, you know, in soy, which is primarily what I make candles with, and beeswax, like you have to have something just knock you over the head or it's not even gonna show up in those waxes. Um, oh my God, I'm so, so, so excited about that one. The next fragrance I'm gonna be checking out is this Nutmeg Vanilla. And this is the one that I was hoping smells like just a beautiful luxury fall and winter uh, fragrance. And I did smell this on the scent strip that I got in the mail. Um, that I ordered for free from their website. So I'm hoping that this smells similar. Oh my gosh, I can smell it from here. Like I can smell it from this far. This smells like a luxury eggnog. Oh my gosh. This is a luxury eggnog. You get the vanilla, you get like biscotti, you get like a sweet, uh, it's like a nutmeg vanilla with biscotti almost, but it's like an eggnog almost. This might be one of like my favorite holiday scents I have ever smelled because it's so luxurious too. Um, it also says that it has notes of sweet buttercream and coconut, um, as well as vanilla, nutmeg, and biscotti. I definitely get the sweet buttercream. I'm not sure that I pick up any of the coconut, but I don't really mind that at all because this is so, so, so unique. Oh my God, this reminds me of, um, I used to get a, an eggnog fragrance from candlesandsupplies.net um, and it reminds me of that eggnog, but this is a lot better um, because it's got more of a spice to it as well. But if you're looking for something similar to this that costs a lot less, I would recommend, I believe it's candlesandsupplies.net's eggnog. Um, and I'm gonna, um, leave a link to that below as well because I do realize that these stone candles fragrances are a bit uh, a bit pricey. Okay, and now I'm going to um, actually no, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna check my Paris fragrance um, berries. This is the diptyque type and I'm gonna smell this one first and make sure it's right but I already know exactly what this is. This is my Wanderlust Paris candle. Oh yeah. Spot on, they've never been off with this one. It's only the ombre that I've had an issue with um, being off and it's really just one time that it happened. Um, but yeah, this is spot on, absolutely love it. Um, just beautiful, it smells like a garden. It's just like a luxurious rose garden and it's such a an elegant fragrance. Um, wow, I just, I am, I am, blown away by this fragrance every time I smell it. Um, it never ceases to amaze me. Hey, and I saved the best for last, um, the Spiritu Sancti. So they actually didn't have a uh, sample strip that I could smell of this one. So I don't even know, and this one was really expensive. Um, really expensive. I don't know exactly how much it was. I, I probably don't wanna know, but this is like, I feel like one of their most expensive fragrances from Stone Candles. Um, 
and I have no idea what this is gonna smell like besides the fact that it just, the name really intrigued me um, because my, a lot of my clients are into more spiritual type fragrances and I'm that way too, where I just love anything that smells like resin or incense. Um, Oh, especially since a lot of these higher end fragrances actually have those ingredients in them. They contain generally um, essential oils as well. Um, so, oh my God, I can smell it from here. Oh my God, I, I'm like getting like little bits of it from here, but I have no idea. I'm smelling something. Um, I have no, no, no idea what this is gonna be. Oh my God. <gasps> wow, wow, wow. Okay, you know, this is beautiful. This smells like pine to me though. Um, and ah, it's good, but I do, I don't know. It's like frankincense mixed with pine. I was gonna say I do prefer their Aurora, um, their White Mountain Aurora. Um, I've smelled that one on a fragrance blotter and I'm gonna order a 16 ounce bottle very soon. Um, but this, the more I smell it, has a lot of frankincense, like essential oil type frankincense, um, notes to it. Um, wow, this is really complex. Um, but it's definitely like a woods, um, like you get the pine, you get the frankincense and uh, those are really the main notes I'm smelling. Maybe like a hint of some sort of citrus, um and some sandalwood maybe, or cedar in the base. I would definitely bring out the base more in this fragrance. Um, there's a lot of middle and upper notes to it, but I would add maybe a little bit more depth to this one. So maybe blend it with some sandalwood um, or some patchouli even just to level out that base. Um, but wow, this is something really special. Well, that is all for today's video. If you have tried any fragrances from Stone Candles, um, definitely leave them in the comment or comment down below which one of these um, you would most likely purchase um, or want to purchase. I'm really curious. Um, and if you did like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I am always posting content like this. Fragrance videos are my absolute favorite on to post on this channel. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Happy candle making.